I think it's very important when you're beginning to play drums to go through different types of sticks. Hey guys, it's Cam Kendrell. Welcome to lesson two of my lesson plan. I haven't really thought this whole thing out. This probably should be lesson one. What drumsticks should you be using? I know I put out lesson one as different drumstick grips and what to do with those grips, but I think what, what might be step one in that process is what stick to actually choose and which one is best for you. Uh, that's what I'm going to go through today. As you can see, I'm, I'm in long sleeves. I don't know if you can tell from the overhead camera, but I've got my uh, comfy warm shoes on because in the basement it's, uh, it's pretty cold. Today it's pretty cold. I think it's like mid 40s or whatnot. So I got my Hawaii hat on because I'm dreaming of, of the warmth and tropical weather of Hawaii and uh, hopefully that state opens up and, and we can get over there um, soon. Uh, but in any, any case, let's get on to what's in my drum bag. How did I come about picking these sticks and, and these tools uh, in my little toolbox here? And uh, how I use and utilize each tool. So, as you can see here from the overhead, and I'll pull these up as well. Uh, I have a variety of sticks. Uh, most of them are of the uh, 5B size and uh, they're pretty much all wood tip. So when I first started playing way back in the day, uh, I did a lot of experimenting, different sizes, different tips, and I basically came to a nice happy spot of the 5B size and the wood tip. And there's advantages and disadvantages to each one. Obviously there were wood tips sticks before there were nylon tips and the nylon tips kind of evolved and then came about because wood tips happen to chip a lot. But the thing I don't like about nylon is it has this sort of artificial sound, almost, I mean, obviously nylon is plastic. It's got this, to me, it's got a plastic sound. Even when I'm playing something that needs more definition in the cymbals, like heavy metal, for instance, or even some some jazz, uh, I would rather just have the natural sound of the wood tip as opposed to the more defined and kind of, for lack of a better term, loud and piercing sound that the uh, nylon tips give when you're playing, especially on the ride cymbal, but also the other uh, drums as well. It's a lot less noticeable, but when you're doing a ride and when you're doing very light hi-hat work. It seems to be, to me at least, that the, the nylon tips are, are, are a lot more one-dimensional, whereas the wood has a warmer tone and it lends itself to a lot more styles and a lot more dynamics. So I didn't take me very long for me to make up my mind that I am a wood tip guy. I'm not, not really into the nylon at all. Although I do have, I bought these recently, the Ahead drumsticks. They're the uh, ones with the plastic shaft and then you've got more of the handle that's that's a metal and then of course there's a plastic nylon tip on it. I'll be getting into these a little bit later uh, but yeah th th those are the only sticks that I have that have a nylon tip. Everything else is a uh, wood tip and I think almost all of these except for one pair is a uh, 5B size. You've got different types of 5Bs uh, I think these Vaders that I have here, I have a Vader Power 5B Acorn, and then just your standard Vader 5B. These are probably, I want to say five or six years old, and they've lasted because I hardly use them. They're, they're starting to get, you know, the, the normal wear and tear, but uh, yeah, those those I, I, I hardly use because I'm, I'm more of a... I'm more inclined to using Promark. I, I just like the way that they feel in my hands. And right now, uh, the one that I'm kind of uh, defaulting to is the uh, Promark Rebound 5B series. So basically it's got, I think, I didn't do any research on them, but I think they uh, there's, there's the Rebound and then there's the other one where there's more weight on the back end of the stick. This has more weight on the front end, so that it has a better rebound to it. I just like the feel of these sticks. So these, I have two pair of these. Those are my go-to sticks right now. And then whenever I'm playing something light, like ballads or jazz, 
Uh, I have the uh, Promark Natural TXR 5AW. They're, they're kind of more like a 5A, and I use these for uh, when I need something lighter in volume and dynamics. And then I did a video, I'll, po I'll post, I think it's on this side, I'll post a link to that video of a stick review that I did where I took regular 5Bs, I took these Vader Extended Play Power 5Bs where they've got this composite wrap around where you normally would hit your, your rim shots. As you can see, these are still pretty new looking. I haven't used these hardly at all. Not so much of a fan, but uh, you know, when these all go and I haven't had a, a time to, to go out and get new sticks, I'll probably start banging into these a little bit. And the, uh, uh, the other stick that I did on the, the review is this uh, Ahead 5B stick. And this has a little bit more wear. I don't know if you can tell, if you can see. I'll try to zoom in. Yeah, I've used these on a couple of um, cover videos and for some reason, I just, I don't know if it's my mood or if it's the particular song that I'm doing, just feels like, it's like one of those things, like sometimes you, you want to wear a hat, sometimes you don't. Uh, sometimes I want to play these sticks and usually I don't, but once in a while I want to pick them up and, and play with them. And there's no really rhyme or reason to any of these sticks. It's more that over the course of just about 30 years of me playing, uh, I've played 2Bs, two 2As, two 7As, 5As, and because I play so many different styles, I play rock, punk, jazz, Latin, funk, country, to me it's better to have one stick that kind of is just a good balance of, of everything as opposed to changing sticks uh, to suit the style. I know in my grip video, I learned all the different grips and used all the different grips to suit a style. This is the opposite actually, where I use one stick for all my styles, pretty much. So that's kind of the philosophy of how I got to the stick that I got to. And I'm not any different than most people. Most people, I think 5B is probably the most widely used size stick. And I'm pretty sure that wood tips are a lot more popular than nylon tips. So there's nothing new or, or groundbreaking or revolutionary or anything like that. Over the course of time, to me, just like with the grips and learning all the different grips and using what works well for each situation, I think it's very important when you're beginning to play drums to go through different types of sticks and kind of whittle out what you like and what you don't like, what you need and what you don't need. You may find that you want different types of sticks for different genres of music or that you want just one stick and you want to play that stick for everything. Again, there's no one right way to do things. It all depends on you and one, what, what works well for you. And for me, it's the 5B wood tip stick. And you know, even as I was saying with this uh, Promark Rebound, there's different types of 5B. Go out there and, and find what it is that you like and always try to have an open mind because things are always evolving, they're always changing. If I try to remember what was available to me back when I first started playing and what's available now, the, the gamut has expanded and changed so much. For instance, I wish I had YouTube when I was first learning. To me, I had to I had a subscription to Modern Drummer and I had to learn how to read music and all of that stuff, which is going to be probably the next lesson, reading music, sight reading, chart reading, all that stuff. So stay tuned for that one. That's coming up uh, after this one, most likely. But yeah, this is basically, th that's the stick that I use. It's, it's, again, with this 80-20 thing, I would say a good 80% of the time I use a 5B wood tip. The other things that are in my stick bag are these mallets. These also come in various sizes, different mallet heads and whatnot. These just so happen to be um, one of the only ones that were available at the music shop that I went to. Uh, I'm not particularly married to any one mallet or the other, as long as I can. Basically, the only reason, the only time I ever use mallets is to do cymbal swells. And once in a while, I'll do like a, a tom roll that make it, makes it sound more like a concert timpani or concert drum. But these are very rare. These are probably what I use the least. 
uh, and they just so happen to do the job. I haven't done too much experimenting on mallets, so just as long as they do what, what I sonically want them to do, that's basically what goes into my decision into mallets. Not much at all. The uh, two other things are these uh, metal brushes. I always like the uh, retractable ones because I just don't, to put them back into the, the, the stick bag is, is really hard when they're um, fixed open. So I always like to have the retractable ones. It makes it a lot easier to put back in the bag, especially when you're gigging. And there'll be times where, you know, you can, you'll start a song on brushes and maybe the song evolves dynamically and you have to switch to six. There's been a few times where at gigs, I've had to, you know, use the sticks or use the, use the brushes, switch the sticks. And in doing so, I always try to retract them and throw them in there. Uh, as long as there's like a, at least a couple of measure break in between the brushes and the sticks. But yeah, these are the uh, Vader wire tap retractable brushes. They're not the, you know, the best brush, but they're a good form and function type of brush. They do the job and you know, each drum company makes their own version of these. I just happened to pick up the Vader ones. Not married to any one brand in particular, but yeah, once in a while I, I will use these and I love the way that they sound on certain things. I have an album where I wrote all the music and did all the, uh, most of the instruments, drums, bass, guitar, piano, and vocals. And there's a song, might be two songs, but I know for sure one song where I use brushes in the beginning and then later on it goes to sticks. And I use these brushes and they sound amazing. Especially with the uh, snare drum that I have, the, the Black Beauty. Uh, a really good combination. And the last thing that I have are these Vader whips. So they're kind of like a, a brush stick. And I was first introduced to these by my uncle who played these a lot on the, uh, I believe it's the New Moon Shine record from James Taylor. And particular, particularly, he played the song Copper Line with nothing but these. And I really like the way that it kind of, it thins out the drum, uh, especially the, the toms and the, uh, the snare drum. And he was a, a big proponent of using toms in, in a lot of his fills. And when he used this, it, it really accents the attack of the tom and kind of uh, gets rid of a lot of the overtones. And for artists like James Taylor, who is primarily uh, acoustic guitar, very low dynamics, these types of sticks do really well in those, uh, those situations where you don't necessarily need a lot of the overtones that the drums produce, you just need more of the attack. Uh, and it gives a certain ambiance to, to songs, especially of the, the lower volume, and it gives a cool effect to the drum. Uh, I recommend uh, listening to Copper Line to get a real good sense of what these sound like. That song is what kind of uh, attracted me to these brush sticks because they're not super easy to play. The rolls are almost impossible to do. They're not very versatile. They're, they're used primarily for songs just like that. They're more ambiance type songs with low volume, uh, low dynamics, and don't need a lot of drums like in your face more as like a background type instrument. But they are uh, really cool to play. Also, um, another one of my favorite bands, Live, the band Live, not like playing live, right? Uh, the 80, uh, 90s band Live, drummer Chad Gracie, he used these both in, in the Throwing Copper and the uh, Secret Samadhi album. And you can also hear the, the ambience that it brings in that album as well. So that's another band that I uh, recommend when referring to these uh, brush stick Vader Coffin whips. And that's pretty much what's in my drum bag, how I came to what goes in my drum bag. And I hope that you found this somewhat informational, informative, and I hope that some of these uh, tips help you in deciding what kind of drum sticks and what kind of tools to put into your drum bag. I know there's a lot going on here. Most of it is the same stuff because I'm deathly afraid of breaking a stick and not having a backup. And that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you are able to decide what stick you'll be using and just know that it takes time. Don't just pick one stick because it's cheap or because it's readily available or what, whatnot. Other people are playing it as well. I also did use a lot of 
signature sticks over the years. The Dave Weckl stick, the Steve Gadd stick, I forgot. So there's there's so many that I've, that I've tried before. Peter Erskine stick, Manu Kache. They all work for, for those guys, of course. And for particular situations, I like using some of those sticks. Um, and I've also used, if you have seen in some of my videos, I've used the uh, black Chromark sticks with the, the grip on them. I've used fire sticks where it's supposed to be like harder to not break. I ended up breaking those just as quickly as any other stick. So yeah, there's a lot of gimmicks out there as well. And you just kind of got to work through that whole thing and know that in the end, most likely you're probably going to find your stick and stick to it most of the time most of the time. And then any of these fads or gimmicks, it's cool to like try them out and see if there's any benefit at all, even if it's just uh, mentally to help you play better. Cause you know, we, we need every single mental edge that we can possibly get as drummers. Those are, those are my, um, my tips, my advice as to what goes into picking your stick. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, check out all the other links that I put both in the description as well as at the end and in between the videos. Check out all the different videos that I have. Let me know what you guys think. I need more feedback coming my way just to see and make sure that I'm doing the right thing. I feel like these lessons are kind of off, you know, off the cuff from the hip. I don't have anything written down. I don't have any notes. I just kind of like go off of what my experience has been over the past almost three decades of playing drums and it may be a little bit messy maybe i need to clean things up and, and make things more concise and to the point let me know let me know what you think hopefully uh, i'll hear from you soon and take care and find your stick find your grip next video we'll be talking about drum reading music reading i'll, uh, I'll be i'll be exposing myself a little bit more than i want to but yeah take care hope to see you soon